Free the Bear, that is the truce, tired of waiting, it's 3.20, my name is Scott McCord, and things are about to get weird. Well, maybe... Hi, is Travis Boyko there, please? Speaking. Hey, Travis, it's Scott McCord calling from the Bear in Edmonton. How are you? Good. Travis, how old are you, first off? 25. You're 25? Yeah, you no kidding. You have the voice of a 12-year-old. That's insane. Yeah, I insane. know. You sound like a female. Thanks. Oh, but you're you're a dude. You betcha. And I just read on your application for Winter Wife that you put a tramp stamp on your ass. <laughs> I do. Now, I gotta ask. This has got to be the result of some sort of drunken chicanery, I'm guessing? I'm allergic to alcohol. I'm not allowed to drink. Also not one for testosterone by the sound of things. Well, the tramp stamp that you got in your butt, apropos of what, what made you get this done? Just because. What's it of? It's it's just a, it's it's a, it's the tail of a it's the tail of a furry creature a furry if you know what a furry is half human half half animal so it's her it's her it's her ass end on my ass that's exactly what it is and you I don't are have... freaking me <laughs> out here my high voiced friend uh, I... so you you're into the furry subculture thing right well so that's when you dress up in the costume yeah right? I yeah. don't do that you don't you don't dress up in the costume no but I you you have... like people that do dress up in the costume. Costume. I just have a couple pictures, and there's just a couple of the girls I really like. So I got her on my back, and then I got her tail on my ass. Okie dokie disco. <laughs> Uh, so people can look you up on the bearbox.com and subsequently vote for you. And let me just say, Travis, a tip of my cap and the best of luck, hesitant question mark? I uh, guess. Oh, my God. Win a wife. Head to the bearbox.com now to possibly meet the girl of your dreams. Sponsored by Wild Wednesdays at Oil City Roadhouse. Only from Edmonton's best rock. 100.3. The Bear. One of our contestants for Win a Wife, who is just so weird, just so off the wall, that we had to bring him back on to... to I don't even know how to explain it. The guy has a voice like a girl, and he's into furries. Do you know what furries are? It's kind of like um, a fetish subculture, that kind of thing. And this guy, he is not shy about holding details back on the proclivities of how he likes to get down to the getting down. His name is Travis. We will talk to him. We got to bring him back on the show. We'll do that in about six minutes time. I love Travis, but he's a freak, man. Uh, major delay both ways at 160. There's a listener who's trying to get to Russia to find love and well, she didn't even know. Hello. We hear that your son signed up to uh, find <laughs> It's 313. My name is Scott McCord. Let's talk to one of the freakiest contestants we've ever had. Well, maybe. Oh. Hi, it's Travis there. Speaking. Travis, it's Scott McCord calling from the Bear again. Oh, hi. Remember our discussion yesterday? Yes. Well, that made you quite the little sensation, didn't it, Travis? I don't know. No, it's true, man, because a lot of it owes to the fact that you have this tattoo of a furry girl on your back and your ass. Now, for people who don't know, furry is kind of like people that dress up as animals. It's an animal with human aspects. You got a tail, you got the ears, you got you even got a face of an animal. Sure, but, but okay. But you got what, human parts on what would, uh, Listen, i got to do a bit of digging on this before, you know, if we send you over to Russia, you, you might be an ambassador for this great country of ours. Is this like a, is it a sexy thing for you, this furry deal? Is it a little sexy for you? For me, it was, well, what happened is, uh, I like the artwork, so it's great for Avatar signatures. I'm, I'm kind of computer nerd. Yeah, so you, I can, you, can, you can photo the memo on it. that one, okay. <laughs> and I must say, after perusing your profile on thebearrocks.com, I kind of get the feeling that you are in no way shy about holding back the intimate details of your personal life. Did you not read where it says, have you ever proposed before? Have you ever proposed? before? I almost actually did get married at the age of 21. <laughs> to who? To my ex fiance, which she's actually, last I checked, with my sister's ex-boyfriend. She wasn't copacetic to wearing a tail in the bedroom, I'm guessing. You know, I only got the tattoo roughly a year ago. Yeah, you, you grow into a fetish like that, right? Sort of. <laughs> Alright, Travis, I bid you farewell and good luck to you, my friend. You are, you are something special, sir. I'll be waiting for you to call me saying I've won, though. Oh, I will <laughs> bet you will. Oh, Oh, definitely. Win a wife. Head to thebearrocks.com now to possibly meet the girl of your dreams. Sponsored by Wild Wednesdays at Oil City Roadhouse. Only from Edmonton's best rock. 100.3. The Bear.